Hello friends, I'm Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the integration of x cosine inverse x dx. But before I do so, if you guys like this video, help me press the thumbs up icon below this video. We are going to solve this particular problem first by using the technique called the integration by parts. The integration by part technique tells us that if I were to let a term as u and define another term as dv, so this is equals to uv, subtracting away the integral of v du, in which in order to find my v, I would integrate dv, and to find my du, I would differentiate u. For this particular problem, I will let u be equals to cosine inverse x, and my dv to be x dx. To find my du, I differentiate u with respect to x. This gives me the negative of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, in which when I multiply both sides by dx, I get du is equal to the negative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And to find my v, I will integrate x dx, so this is equal to x squared over 2. I now found my u, v, du, and dv. I can apply the integration by parts formula to move on to the next step. So I would have the following. My u is cosine inverse x. My v is x squared over 2. Subtracting away the integral of v, which is x squared over 2, and the u is the negative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And we next simplify the second term and we get the following which is half the integral of x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. The second step we are going to do is we are going to apply the integration by substitution technique. To evaluate the integral of x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared dx, we will let x be equals to sin u and we differentiate x with respect to u, this gives me cosine u, in which multiplying both sides by du, I get dx is equal to cosine u du. I will now perform the change of variables for the integral of x squared over square root of y minus x squared dx. I will get the following. I will leave the first term as it is, and as for the second term that includes the integral itself, I will convert my x to become sine square u in this particular case and my denominator will be the square root of 1 minus sine square u dx becomes cosine u du for the denominator it is square root of cosine square u because we apply the trigonometry identity that my cosine square u is equal to 1 minus sine square u and the square root of cosine square u is cosine u and this is actually negated by the cosine u down here. So ultimately we just have the following which is sine square u du. And why sine square u? By applying the trigonometry identity, the double angle formula that my sine square u is equals to 1 minus cosine 2u over 2 du. And next we will Factorize the half out of the integral, we get 1 quarter the integral of 1 minus cosine 2u du. And we can now evaluate the integral, basically the whole integral solution is just basically u subtracting away sine 2u over 2 plus c. Next we now would like to convert the variable u back into my x because my question is expressed in terms of x. We will convert the sine 2u into 2 sine u cosine u over 2 plus c. And basically the 2 can be cancelled out in this manner. And we now look at firstly substituting u as sine inverse x. And then how about sine u? Sine u is x. How about cosine u? To find out cosine u, we first need to draw a right angle triangle in which my angle u is here and then my opposite length is x, my hypotenuse length is 1. So basically, the adjacent length is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And since we have this particular diagram, we cannot find my cosine u. So my cosine u is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, basically it's just x times 1 minus x squared. 
my cosine u is basically just square root 1 minus x squared over 1, which is square root 1 minus x squared. And then this is the final answer. The integration of x cosine inverse x is x squared over 2 cosine inverse x plus 1 quarter square bracket sine inverse x minus x square root of 1 minus x square plus c. If you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe for more integration problems. My name is Bob. Thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.